quick explanation for what is about to happen. Um, I'm going to play the lick from part one uh, in, in every key. And I'm going to announce the key before I do in concert pitch. Uh, so if you, if you don't play piano or, or flute or something like that, then, then you'll have to do a little bit of thinking about what that means for you. Uh, and if you don't understand what concert pitch is, the, this might be a difficult thing for you to do. Like, the whole thing might be difficult anyway. So, um, go research that and then come back if you want to work on this lick. Uh, that being said, I'm going to just go up systematically through the keys. I start in the key of concert F sharp, which is the lowest key that I can do on the alto saxophone. Uh, and then I go up each key once. Um, I also, I, I'm going to keep in my mistakes, which, which I make a couple. Uh, and uh, just to show that this is a process that, that I'm working on, that you do not, you're not expected to get it perfect at all, ever. Although there are, I'm sure there are some people in this world who, who could, um, given enough time, enough practice time, enough focus. Um, uh, so if you would like to learn this lick in a specific key, uh, you, you know, listen until you find the one you want and, and then try to figure it out by ear. Uh, you can also take the numbers that you wrote down for the, 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 the lick in the previous video and, and write down the notes that you need for that particular key. Oh, I'm using the major key version, so we're starting on, on six, uh, in, in case you received the minor key version in a lesson with me or somebody else, which has already happened. Uh, that being said, uh, go through these one at a time. If you would like to learn them all, uh, I, I either listen to me and try to figure it out or, or go figure it out on your own. Again, this is a process. It's, it's going to take time either way. Uh, here we go. Key of F sharp. <laughs> fun. It's just the kind of the process that I go through when I want to transpose something um, anyway. I, I'm really thinking in terms of the key and, and what notes I have to play, sort of. The relationship between the notes is, is a little bit more, um, is, is a little bit harder to grasp. It's a little bit harder to stack those things in your head. Um, but the more you do it, the easier it gets. Uh, just make sure that you take your time and go through this. Uh, the next lick 
I do like this might be easier or, or, or not because um, it's it's all pretty difficult if, you, if you're not used to transposing things in your head. Uh, that being said, uh, look for part three, which should also be coming out today, uh, where I, I take this lick through a set of chord changes, a, a blues, and, and improvise with it and try to use it as much as possible. Uh, more on that in part three. Uh, have a nice day.